The first bridge to be built next to Hampton Court Palace opened in 1753. 180 years later, the Prince of Wales opened the fourth bridge on this site. Architect Sir Edward Lutons strove to mimic the style and portions of Sir Christopher Wren's part of the palace. The bridge is unusual because it links Greater London on the North Bank with Surrey on the South Bank. The construction of this bridge required a diversion of the River Mole into the last stretch of the River Ember. The two rivers now discharge into the Thames to the east. For me, there is something pleasing about taking two rivers which are running parallel for some distance and amalgamating them. I think it's efficient. As for the bridge itself, it's built of reinforced concrete, which had only been around for about half of a century at this point. Plus, it is faced with Portland stone and red brick. It therefore marries the cost of aesthetics, a principal aim in engineering. The red brick and Portland stone gives this bridge a striking resemblance to the palace and helps it blend in with its surroundings. The simple design gives the bridge a subtle beauty so that the passing tourist is not distracted from the palace. The bridge does not try to match the palace's size or splendour, it just sits quietly next to it. And that's why I like this bridge, because it doesn't try to be something that it's not. The first bridge was opened in 1753. The current one opened in 1933. The width of the river at this point is 99 metres. Whilst the clearance is 5.9 metres. There are two piers in the water making three spans. 59,000 people cross over this bridge every day. Additionally, 9,500 tonnes of freight traffic traverses the bridge. What do you think of this bridge? Rate it by clicking on the link in the description. And you will contribute to the popularity rating of the trump card. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.